In this video, we are going to focus on the general form of a straight line. You will find this on page 312 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. This is the general form where they write everything on one side, first the x, then the y, then the constant, and then equal to zero. Note, it's known as the general form of the equation of a straight line. A and B, C are integers, so not fractions, and A must be bigger or equal to zero. By converting the x term is positive. So very important that the first term must not be negative, it must be positive. Otherwise you have to do, just change the signs throughout the equation. Now let's look at an example. The equation of the straight line is this. Write it in the, this form. In the, so it's, it's in the y-intercept form and I want you to write it in the general form. Now it's actually just first thing is just to get rid of the fractions. Now exactly I, as I showed you the previously, now you can just say, now I, I'm just going to show you how I will always do it in a clause. I will say, okay, make everything fractions. I showed you this method because this method is more familiar to most teachers and students. So put it over one, make everything fractions. Then if that x is standing alone, it's actually standing 2x over 3. And then I put this one over 1. And just like, what is the LCM? The LCM is 3. So basically, and this is case, I'm just going to, as I said to you, I first make all the denominators the same. And then don't forget, as soon as the denominators are the same, and I'm going to put that step in to make more mathematical sense. But now, don't forget, basically, uh, this is now, by multiplying every term just by 3 over 1, I'm cancelling out my denominators. That's why I didn't even show the step. I showed it now, okay? But usually, I will just directly, after I make the denominator, I will leave out this step. And I will directly just say, okay, then this is going to be 3y equals 2x plus 6. Because I know that the denominators will cancel out, but as soon as I multiply with the reciprocal, which is 3 over 1. You can only do it if it's an equation. If it's an expression, you have to keep the denominators. But in an equation, whatever you do with one term and you do it with all the terms, then it is correct. Okay, and that's what I got there. And then I just make, um, I'm taking everything to one side. There, the x is already on this side. I can also swap it around. It's not a problem. So I can also say 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0. Just make sure that your x term is positive. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, it doesn't, I think number C. Let's just do number C in this case. Okay. Let's start. <clears throat> so if I have y equals 1 and a half x minus 2 and a quarter. Now, the first thing I have to do, I have to just make everything fractions. So put it over 1, make it improper, so 1 multiplied 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2, but remember that x is over 1 and there's a multiply, so it's actually 3x over 2. Okay, so it's on top. The same, it's 8 plus 1, so it's 9 over 4. And now I say to you, and what is the LCM? The LCM is 4. Don't forget, LCM is 4. So basically, I just multiply 4, multiply 4. Multiply, just 2, multiply 2. And there it's already correct, so it's 1. So if it was an expression, I can basically then just simplify and leave the denominators. So the method is almost the same up to this point. But if it's an equation, I know, oh, I can do the magic by multiplying all terms by 4 over 1, 4 over 1, 4 over 1, all the denominators will cancel, but only if it's an equation. So then I'm just going to say 
4y is equal to 6x minus 9. I don't put in that extra step. And now I just take everything. Now I'm, x must be positive, so leave it on this side. So leave it. Bring this one over. So to cancel, it's positive, so it's going to cancel with a negative 4y. And that's why it's negative 4y on this side. And this one is already there. And now, if you really wanted to have it on this side, it's almost like in, we did it in changing subject of the formula. We just swapped the sides. So therefore, if you really want it in that side, you can say it's going to be 6x minus 4y um, minus 4y minus 9 equals 0. And that is your final answer.